Let me tell you how applying this acting technique will help you enhance your credibility when you speak for business. When actors are preparing a role on stage or on camera, they make careful plans about the actions that they're going to take toward their listeners. This helps the audience believe that the make-believe situation is real. So for actors, it's all about actions. For actors, actions speak louder than words. So actors look for acting objectives, and these are actions that lie underneath the words, actions to take toward the listeners. And this helps the, the actor become motivated to speak the lines that the playwright or the screenwriter wrote and speak them truthfully, authentically, and conversationally. In rehearsal and performance, actors pursue their acting objectives as if their lives depended on it. This helps the audience believe that the actor and the character are one and the same. Believe that the actor is the character. Now this applies to you as a business speaker for two very important reasons. Number one, when you're speaking for business, you want your listeners to believe something, to believe that you have the solution to their business problem, for example. Once you've helped them to believe, they will believe that you and your message are one and the same. Believe that you are your message. Now reason number two is this. When you're speaking for business, once you've helped your audience to believe, you have won them over to your side. I just told you about three auditions when I received negative feedback as an actor. I had neglected to pursue acting objectives to build their belief. And today I know that's the reason that I got that negative feedback. The auditioners had nothing to focus on but the negative. Well, when you're speaking for business, once you've helped your audience to believe, as I said, they are on your side. And when that happens, your audience will forgive you almost anything. So now we're going to explore and analyze this belief building process. We're going to take it step by step and then we'll apply it to your own business speaking situations. When actors are preparing their actions, creating acting objectives, they divide the script and you should divide any notes that you have for a business talk. You should divide any notes that you have into units. Actors call them beats. Each beat is a separate topic, smaller than the overall <coughs> message. What is a beat? A beat is a topic of conversation. It's what the speaker is talking about. Not what the speaker is doing with the words, but what the speaker is talking about. Now, I'm going to give you an example of this. I'm going to speak two very short beats, two very short topics of conversation. I'd like you to see if you can identify the end of beat one and the beginning of beat two. See if you can identify the moment when the beat changes. You might want to close your eyes if it will help you concentrate. I'd like you to raise your hand high in the air the moment you hear the beat change, the end of beat one and the beginning of beat two. I'll begin now. Our company, Teldar Paper, has 33 vice presidents, each earning $200,000 a year. Now, I've just spent the last two months analyzing what these guys do, and I still can't figure it out. What I do know is this. Last year, our paper company lost over $110 million. And I'll bet half of that money was spent on all the paperwork going back and forth among all these vice presidents. The new law of evolution in corporate America seems to be survival of the unfittest. Well, in my book, either you do it right or you get eliminated. The end. I saw some hands go up. Where did you hear the end of beat one and the beginning of beat two? Who's got an idea? <laughs> 